Welcome back. What makes a business ethical? That's the question Adirondack Samaritan Counseling Center is asking for the second year in a row as they get set to hold their Ethics and Business Awards. Joining us to share more on that is Gloria Raganetti. She is the co-chair of the steering committee for the Correct. Ethics and Business Awards. Gloria, great to see you. You were here last year for your first that's right. Installment. Yep. Second year in a row. Congratulations. Thank to, you. Uh, Thank you. Thanks for having me back. You're really very appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. Before we get into the actual winners and mm -hmm. the ceremony that right. you've got planned, you know, what is the criteria when you're looking at ethics in business? What are you know, what are some of the benchmarks that you're looking at to, right. to and, find these businesses? And that was a big discussion. You know, we, we did have a partnership. We do have a currently have a partnership with SUNY Adirondack, their ethics and business class, and we discussed that. And I think we're looking for the overall tone of the business, integrity, honesty, fairness, consistency. Uh, you know, we, we, want, we want the business to be proud of themselves. So as customers go to them, they'll repeat business because they feel that they've been well dealt with and it was all ethical and they really go above and beyond. We're looking for more than just the average business. Okay, so you're looking for somebody who's in, involved in the community, also giving good customer service. Is customer really service is very important, but we're also looking to see how they motivate their employees because the whole idea is that if you have a positive atmosphere, you're going to feel good about yourself and you're going to be more productive. So we're trying to tie in both the customer service aspect of it as well as how does an employee feel about working for this particular business? So you pick three businesses yep. each year. Yes. Um, it's yep. no secret who's won this year, right? No, it's been no, released. So who no. are the three, uh, the three winners this year? We had 26 nominations, and out of the 26, our small business is Ray of Light Fitness Studio, which is owned by Jennifer Eastless. And she's new to our community. She's only been in business since 2011. And where is her fitness studio? She's in uh, Queensbury at the Sokols Plaza, okay. and uh, she has wonderful programs, and her staff is very accommodating for the different needs of, uh, of their clients. So th she's our first, our small business. The middle-sized business is Matt Funicello of Rock Hill Bakehouse right here in Glens Falls. Yeah, which is, a, you know, his business is a big part of the community. Also seems like yes. it's a very engaged, engaging business for exactly. the Exactly. The atmosphere, is, he really draws lots of groups in. He's open to having his place be a, a focal point for meetings, discussions, groups of, of all kinds, and, and we really respect his work. He calls himself an empowered worker rather than a businessman and i think that's i i want him to talk about that saturday at, at our dinner at the at the highland and the, and the big business the big business is the lake george rv park which is owned and operated by dave king who's of They've course been a in, big part of the adirondack theater Festival oh my as well. yes yes i mean that that operation has been there over 50 years and uh, it continues with the same traditions and of course their reputation is really beyond reproach you know the the atmosphere i don't know if you've ever been there it is so clean and so accommodating and everybody really takes pride in their work you know they want people to have a unique experience and that's why we feel that they were well deserving of the award of course that uh, they're all going to receive their awards yes, at your awards yes. so i'm going to give us some details because folks at home watching this could can come and participate, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Tickets are still available if you if you call the center in uh, the, the Adirondack Samaritan Counseling Center. It's uh, located at 15 the Boulevard in Hudson Falls. We have a website. They can get tickets through the website. And uh, it's going to take place at the Highland Saturday night. We have a cocktail hour. And this year we're having music performed by the Tony Jenkins Jazz Trip. So they'll be performing, which we're very excited about. And then they'll stay afterwards. So if people want to stay, socialize, network you know it's an opportunity to do all that we're hoping to get more businesses to come and be part of it we've had a great sponsorship program this year we have a lot of people who have really helped us because if it weren't for them we wouldn't be able to put this on I was wondering if I could mention oh, their names yeah, yeah our sponsors this year of course are the board of directors of Adirondack Samaritan Counseling and uh, Dean Bartlett one of our local dentists Glens Falls National Bank acupuncture studio Lehman graphics uh, Irving Tissue, SUNY Adirondack, uh, the, the Post Star, and I think I got them all. Oh, and Glens Falls Printing. So some some great local businesses yes. there. Uh, yes. If obviously this year's winners were already in the can, but if you would like to nominate a business for 2014, how oh, do you yeah, go about it? Oh yeah, absolutely. We have um, on our website, you'll be able to make a nomination. Also, if you attend uh, Saturday evening at the Highland, we have our cocktails at 6 o'clock and then the dinner will follow. There'll be an opportunity for you to fill out an application there, or if you want to participate 
and be on the committees, or if you'd like to be a sponsor or make a donation, we're really hoping to, to, to have that opportunity for everyone. Well, it's great to have you back, Gloria. Good luck this coming Saturday night. Thank you. We'll thank see you, you for the third installment next absolutely, year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, thank you so much, Gloria Raganetti from the uh, Samaritan, Adirondack Samaritan Counseling Center. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. And you can find out more information about the award ceremony and check out what the Adirondack Samaritan Counseling Center is all about. Head to their website, head to our website, looktvonline.com. We have a link right there.